All right, so today we're going to be watching Chainsaw Man episode three. Last episode, we met a new character, Power. She seems like a big ball of energy, very chaotic, and honestly, I'm kind of loving it. I can't wait to see more of how her friendship's going to turn out with Denji because I have a feeling these two are going to be hitting it off. Oh, you just know the cleanup crew is not going to be happy with us. You know what's interesting? For some reason, I feel like Makima's eyes are very similar to Powers. But maybe it's just similar character design, kind of similar eyes. <laughs> she just threw him under the bus. <laughs> It's literally day one and they're already fighting. I wonder how the organization got power to enroll in it and to actually listen. That's what he's still thinking about? Oh, it's a cute kitty. Oh, the cat is so cute. Okay, but power is a mood. Oh, so power used to have a cat. Oh, so the reason why she's working for the organization is because of her cat. I can't say I trust Denji now. I feel like there's like this polar opposite perspective when it comes to cats and dogs in a sense of people who like cats wouldn't immediately follow that up with they don't like dogs. But I've noticed that a lot of people who do love dogs would immediately follow that up with but they don't like cats. I feel like there's so many more characters we've yet to meet. Oh, that kind of sucks. Wait, why can't she fight it? She didn't have to go there. Oh, I don't want to be reminded. Denji! The things he lets slide when he thinks about boobs is beyond me. Oh, is that foreshadowing? Is she gonna get attached? Hmm. That sounds interesting. Concept is kind of like Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. Like the naming type of thing. There's power to names. Hmm. Okay, but what's wrong with just wanting to live a good life? I don't know. I am trying to like Aki for the life of me. But he just seems like one of those people who has a very set idea of what being motivated or a set idea of what good means even. And anything that he finds that challenges that idea, he shuns. I don't know. I just feel like he hasn't really tried to get to know Denji. And he's already having all these assumptions about him. They're clouded by his judgment. Yeah, I think you're talking about you. The devil who stole Miaoi lives in the middle of nowhere? This looks like a trap. House in the middle of freaking nowhere, quite literally. This is the beginning of a horror movie. At this point, I'm not surprised, I guess. That this devil lives there? Wait, no one told Power that Denji can turn into a chainsaw devil? Is this a prank? Oh, I thought they were going to be friends. And she just... knocked him out, dragged him into a house in the middle of the woods. 
Does Meowie even exist? A vampire bat double? Oh. That's so rude. I feel like Denji can never get a break. I mean, what is his record now? Every single person he pairs with has either beaten him up or I guess now you can add given him up to another devil. But either way, he's always... I feel called out. I actually believed her too. Wait, so Power did this just so she could be free of the organization? This doesn't really make sense. Oh, so Meowie does exist. I bet he already ate Meowie. Oh. Or not. No! Should I expect in every episode Denji's gonna get beaten up some way and some cute creature is gonna get written off the storyline? This is so depressing! Oh, so cute! Oh, not the backstory. I literally just met Miaoi and I'm upset. Yo, I'm getting annoyed with this bat devil creature. No one told you to eat everybody. If you wouldn't eat everybody, maybe you wouldn't be so upset and complain about the taste. I can't believe power just got eaten. <laughs> Did he just he just called her tits? Get him, Denji. I can't with these flashbacks. They're so sad. Oh. I can't with this series. You get him, Denji. Wait, how could Makima tell he was part devil, but not the bat devil? Well, definitely not something you see every day. Beat him up, Denji! Uh, public property is getting destroyed again. Oh. Why did they stay there for so long? Oh, come on! Oh, interesting. So we get to see Denji actually learning more about his powers. I did not see that coming. I didn't think he had a... I don't even know what you call that. A horn? Cannon thing? I have to admit, Denji's pretty cool right now. Has to do with boobs. Oh, look who's scared now. That was pretty cool. Okay, that, that little like motion with the smoke was pretty cool. Oh, this ending is very intense. Kind of reminds me of a horror movie. I love how intense the art is though. Whoa! This just felt like four different endings in one. I have to say, every episode's gotten better and better. Although, I didn't realize watching this series was me signing up for Heartbreak with every episode. I mean, we're only in episode three, guys. And all these characters are dropping like flies. Something needs to happen, because I can't have every single character that we like just getting written out of the story. Let me know in the comments what was the most intense scene for you in this episode and if you'd want to see the next episode. I'll see you guys soon.